so uh, apparently we have engineers, scientists and just some straight up cash which is the thing we're missing right now so it's a difficult mission apparently but I feel like we'll probably be able to uh, take care of business here so let's do it ok so uh, let's go ahead and clear our units that we have here and just look through everybody that we've got so we have obviously got our assault sergeant and our support sergeant both very important uh, I believe our support sergeant here now has the ability for three health packs rather than one per use so they will be given a med pack med kit sorry uh, now if I were best I did not realize is actually a um, a med kit item rather than a body armor item that's super lame that's not going to be uh, be used I guess um, Yes, Unholy Zoe, you have donated today, which means you get to choose the name of a character. Well, I guess you can choose which one you want. We've got, uh, in terms of girls, uh, that are pretty good. So far we have our, our main support girl. And then we have the glorious British Helen Taylor here as well. If you want to go ahead and choose one of these two characters, I will uh, turn them into you, basically. I'll give them your name and stuff. I'll just call them, obviously, like, Unholy Zoe. Or maybe Zoe Unholy, perhaps. And then we'll, uh, go ahead and sort them out for you. Right, so, I mean, two sergeants and corporals, that's a heavy assault of support, and I'm gonna take a rookie out, because I want a sniper. I don't have a sniper. I have a, I guess I could take my second heavy out. This mission could do with people who actually know what they're doing. So, what do you reckon? A second, a second heavy. Okay, let's do that. Zoe, let me know in chat what you want to do with this character. Uh, Zoe Swan. Okay, that's right. That's absolutely fine. I'll give you. I think you said you were from the UK, so I'll, I'll make this your character. So, first name is Zoe. Second name is Swan. So, we'll just go with, uh, I don't know what this is doing, like the hair is doing, but I think this face is a bit weird. Uh, give you sort of like a, a bit of a badass character, with perhaps some like slightly better hair, that's not too bad I guess, and maybe it's going to make it a bit more sort of uh, neutral. This is Zoe Swan, and she is ready to kick ass and chip all gum, and she's fresh out of gum. A heavy with a rocket launcher and a light machine gun, and she's good to go. I don't think you can change uh, things like eye colour and stuff. Maybe you can in XCOM 2, but this game is a little bit on the old side, so for now we can't do anything about that. So there we go. Sergeant Popov, Sergeant Turk, Corporal Swan, and Squaddy Armstrong. Try to what apparently is a difficult mission, or at least we've been told is a difficult mission, so keep our fingers crossed. Okay. So we've got somebody who's actually returned to active duty now, which is good. But we need to begin our assault. Okay, so we need to sweep the induction site and identify threats and neutralize all hostile targets. Apparently it's not too difficult, from what I can tell, in terms of what we have to do. But, we've got to try and keep Zoe alive now, which might be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> if anybody else out there wants to donate, it doesn't matter how much you donate, you get a character named after you in our uh, little crew that we have here, so please do feel free to do so. So, we don't have any snipers this time, so there's no point in taking sort of any higher distances or anything like that. We're going to... it looks like the map is a long one. Long and thin, it would seem. Yeah, there's not... I mean, there's a little bit of stuff over there, maybe. I don't know for sure. 
shot coming on. Oh, I can't do it from there. That's really annoying. Now that one in the air is really too many of him, so... We can just... Just one in the back a little bit there. Which takes him out, which is good. Okay, we do have a second heavy, though, so I'm not...
some people across there. Um, it might be making more sense to move this person though. Uh, should we just fire a rocket in the building? You know what? The shot is blocked apparently. By what? By nothing. Because they've been taken out. Yeah, you're flanking them so you can ignore their cover. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so the explosions. Has meant we can recover less from this mission, sadly, but we blew some stuff up, which is always fun. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Okay, so we are back once again with the Renegade Master. Being bombed out with the ill behavior, back once again with the ill behavior. Okay, we've got a corporal now. Uh, the are suppressing enemies also confers plus 10. and then moving afterwards thing. Sounds like it's going to be quite useful to do, so I'll go with that. We've got the Shredder rocket. All of these hits take plus 33% damage for all sources for the next four turns. Which is great. Uh, all suppression could fire a special shot that grants reduction fire at a single target. The target also suffers a minus 30 aim penalty. So we can suppress people as well. So... What do we think about that? Um, is it worth looking into that in more detail? Or the Shredder rocket sounds like it would be good to have for like really aggressive units, but also I can see why suppression would come in handy as well. Zoe, you get suppression. There you go. Good job. And we also have this guy here who also has a virus shot that causes enemies to run out of cover. Sounds great. Or take two shots against a single target quick succession. So if you want to shoot twice or force people out of cover, the, the rapid fire thing sounds awesome, especially if we get nice and close. It's like almost like a guaranteed kill. Um, but also pushing somebody out of cover also sounds quite good, but I think it's probably a bit of a waste of a turn, so we'll go with uh, two consecutive shots. we got a new autopsy to uh, look into, some money decreasing the panic in America and everybody's happy. Okay. So, now that we've managed to do that, what we need to do is just take a little bit of a look here. We might need to build another satellite uplink uh, because currently we can only have two satellites. I definitely want to have more so we can find out about more things that are going on. So that's definitely what we're going to be looking at. Actual lift is going to be finished tomorrow, so we'll scan. There it is. So let's go ahead and look at excavating that side of the area for us as well. And move on. Alien containment should be done here. Perfect. Now this means we can start using the arc thrower. Because that's going to be a very, very cool way of uh, getting some new stuff about people. Carry on, thank you very much. So, we've got the guns ready to go, actually, already. Request from Japan, a satellite. Numerous UFOs have been spotted streaking over the skies of Japan, and a concern for citizen safety is building. Since they don't have a satellite technology that can track the aliens like we do, they're offering 200 bucks for a satellite. We can't do that, though, which is a massive shame. Satellite Nexus is available. Okay. Um, cool. First one, satellite capacity for each adjacent uplink. Okay, this is this is really good. We'll have to look into that. Let's do this photo autopsy as well while we're here. Although I'm sure you can make the connection yourself. We've designed, we've designated this particular mission as a floater. The research team is continuing efforts to determine how the aliens prevented the organic tissue from rejecting the mechanical components as they seem to work in perfect harmony with one another. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Right. Uh, there's a request from Asia coming in soon as well. What we want to go ahead, we've got 191 here. So realistically, we want this excavation to 
is UFO contact, which we need to scramble in Scepter's 4. Uh, we'll take out Raven 2, I guess. Doesn't really matter which one it is right now. Good to see you, Monkey Wild 525 in the chat. Thanks for joining us here. Here we go. Uh, we don't have any aim or anything at all. We can't do any of that. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, we... I just 